Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Serpent in the Staglands. This is Kernel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today for a... Uh, well, we're gonna explore a little... A, a new area of Lumen Targ? Is that the word? The, is that the name of this city? The city where we're, where we're in? So basically this city is... Oh, Catalina is saying something. I can't stand the settlers here. They never know when to keep their mouths shut. Always greeting and nodding and smiling like a pack of lem of lemons. <laughs> yeah, I I'll do all the talking. Fear not, Catalina. Fear not. Um. So yeah, basically, this town is the town uh, around. Let's talk with Matus. Matus? Matus? Maybe. Uh, how now? I'm a stranger to this town. What can you tell me of the people here? Well, the people in Lumentark. Well, yeah, that's Lumentark. I was right. Mostly farmers, some shopkeepers, not much in the way of noble folk, except for Lord Elin, uh, but he's always treated as fair. A spicer like yourself might not find much in the way of exotic trade, we mostly grow crops and the like. Yeah, that's alright, any good shops? Uh, Bogul, uh, not Bogul, Bogumil and Borifus are a few paces east of the well, established merchants won't cheat you. Uh, there's a self-styled alchemist set up in the middle of town now too, but it's just a backwoods herbologist. With a fancy cloak. Decent potions, though. I bought a few yesterday. Yep, thank you for the advice. Let me check your... Nope. Nope, that's nothing for us. And let's check the ground items. It's a good thing that uh, we can check the ground items and don't need to go pixel hunting. So this is the well. And there's some sap in those crates. And fortunately, nobody fell down. That's cool, that's cool. And an emerald, thank you. Or emeralds. I'm quite short on those because I kind of wasted... All my money already, so that's not gonna be very promising. Let's speak with Borifus. Oh, what ho, stranger! Can I tempt you with my wear sure thing? Let's sell, let's sell, because I'm gonna be selling what? What am I gonna be selling? Uh, first, let's sell, and then let's buy, because look at that. Uh, so, I'm gonna be selling this uh, crappy swords. I'm gonna sell, I'm not gonna sell that one though. Um, and I'm gonna sell this canvas lined armor that I, I don't need. I'm also gonna sell this crossbow. So 65 emeralds, that should be good. I'm all set for armor, for, at least for right now. I would like, look at that, mail. Hmm. I would like more, but unfortunately I'm poor. I'm a god, but I'm poor. That is how it is. Uh, let's see, there's another trader, that's Bogumil, right, I'm in charge of the temple goods, I can sell you some supplies if you're in need, the festival wiped most of, of my stock, but I can show you what I have, and I'd like to take a look, yes please, so oil spill trap, requires sheep, some cloaks, uh, so what do they do, what do cloaks do, it's dyed mossy green, and has speckles of various other colors throughout the fabric, there's some torches as well. Do I need them? Do I have them? Do I need the bones? Oh man. Well, we'll get to learn that. We will get to learn that. Oh, maybe shovels though. Maybe shovels. I'm gonna take that. Actually, I'm gonna take... Can I Can I please take some shovels with me? Is that something that I can do? Thank you. And ropes, I'm all set for those as of right now. And what else? What else do you have? So he's got, he's got Sapgur Strap. And that is about that. Some oxhide boots and all sorts of interesting stuff that I'm, I'm gonna need to scavenge off the ground of the enemies that we're gonna kill. Oh, sorry, sorry, man. Sorry. That's a good thing that this, this guys warn us when we're trying to steal, <laughs> to steal from them. Because that way we can maximize the amount of loot that we gather. So who's this guy? Saddler. Okay. Just a saddler. Slash ladder. Let's talk with the alchemist, because maybe... No, I don't need potions. I don't need potions, I don't think. Uh, because, yeah. Oh, what's that? Jakub. Hello, Jakub. What you doing? Yes, I'm one of the farmers around here. If you need aid, I can point you in the right direction. Yeah, I don't need anything right now. Actually, I'd be interested in some local news if you have any. Oh, let's see. Liso, Elizabeth's daughter, is sick with the purple fever, but should recover. The barkeep says he's found of a new way to brew kefir, but I don't know much about that. Um, oh, and avoid the well. It's smelling rank lately. Oh, anim an animal fell in? Well, it's kind of a problem, but we have no hands to spare right now to look into it, so if you see any creatures or monsters near it, or anything funny, you tell me and I'll send my son. Well, I will do that. Uh, it sounds like you're busy, so I'll leave you be. 
So, a quest? Is that a quest? Let's let's type it in. Add a note. Uh, something fishy with the well. And a kind of a punny thing right there. So, uh, maybe animals are poisoning the, um, the well of Lumen Targ. Spe uh, speak with Ju Jokub. Jokub. Uh, if that's the case. Yep, I apologize for the noise of my keys. Uh, Jakub, not Jokub, but that, that's fair enough. That's, that's fair enough. Uh, let's check the well, though. Let's check the well. There's a door over there, and a child. A moon-faced child looks at you with, a dull, with dull eyes and dirt on its face and tonic tells you a long day in the fields. Oh yeah, that's that's child. Sh yeah. Uh, but nope, there's nothing in here. Let's check the well though. Can I click it? Just a well. Okay. Let's go this way first. Let's go this way because there's shops. There is uh, maybe something else. There's a guy over there. Settler. Maybe another settler. Nope, nobody interesting. Uh, and. Uh, there's a house over here. There's a guy over there. Constable. Hey, you admirals. That's good. Let's speak with the constable. New in town? I'm the new. I'm the constable here. Any trouble you you have? You can come see me. What can I do for you? I was wondering who your prisoner was. Actually, I I was not wondering that because I don't know if he had as a prisoner at all. But native that was poking around here. He shouldn't have been. Ah, uh, that's all you need to know. Yeah, I see. Farewell. See you later. And I got a notice board over there. I'm gonna check on that later. That's some graves. Here lies Dame Ekaterina. Anu. Oh, that's Amnu. Amnu. Hmm, interesting. Uh, here lies Sir Avantis and Sir, Sir Joseph. Yep, let's, let's get out of here. I don't like cemeteries. Especially not in uh, fantasy RPGs. Before you stand, before you stands a credibly structured board attached to a post full of notices and scrolls depicting profiles of criminals and detailing rewards to you uh yep a scroll reading two disgraced arbiters coastal and dinu have broken their oaths and abandoned their posts a farmer shopping wood in the wilderness south of town recently reported that he saw two men of their of their likeness living in an abandoned shack the constable is offering 30 emerald reward with sufficient proof of their deaths yeah, let's take the bounty. So that's Coastal and Dino, south of town in an abandoned shack. Let's write that down. And I forget, I already forget about all of that. Coastal and Dino, I'm pretty sure that's that's their names. South of town, and south of uh, Lumen Targ? Targ. I'm just, yeah, Targ's good. Uh, they are living near, oh, or in, maybe. And an abandoned shack. That's all good. So I got three quests already. That's that's great. I really like, I really really like the the, the mechanic that you need to type in all your things, all your um. So Mazdoth, that's the prisoner. That's the prisoner. The creature before you has long ears like a bat and nearly glowing eyes that are fierce with indignation. Greetings. Its words are garbled and you cannot communicate with the jailed creature. Mm, yeah, nobody in our party in our party has uh, linguistic skills, so that's that's a bummer. Oh, what summoning horn ears? Well, I'm gonna take those, uh, even though I don't know what they are for. The severed ear of a tar Tarathorith lawbreaker. Okay, <laughs> are these like I don't know summoning horn? Crudely constructed, but very magical summoning horn that will bring goblins to your side. These horns are made from a variety of materials, and this one appears to be made from ivory wood and iron rings. Arbinger levels required for use. Excuse me, I have hiccups. Man, that's terrible. Well, seems like they went away. Good. Uh, so I need Arbinger. Is that some sort of... Uh, what's that? Yep, that's a sort of... Uh, how's it called? The uh, Book of Aptitudes. That's right. So that's more or less like skills, basically. Aptitudes is a word for skills. What's this? The door opens. Where? Over here? 
Hmm. Basically, we're going to the dungeons of the prison. I'm not sure I like that. Let's quick save and uh, go in. Okay. Okay, so I got rumors? These guys are high, it seems. Anyway, let's see who this girl is. It's Wilhelm. So I'm probably gonna need to relocate him very quickly. Yep. And uh, that's Catalina, so good. I'm just gonna get Wilhelm to run around the place. And hopefully that guy is gonna de-aggro on him. Please stop that. Please stop that. Wilhelm is the healer of the party. I don't want him to die and kill that guy. Seriously? Okay. Is that guy still... Flesh wounds? Are you kidding me? Can I go back? No, no, no. I'm out. See you later. See you later. No? Okay, that's not good. That's not good. No, don't die. Don't you die. Okay. So, Wilhelm, who's being attacked? That's Wilhelm. Yep. Okay. That's not good. Wilhelm, get the hell out of there. Attack of opportunities? No, that's good. Just attack him. Come on. No, Wilhelm! Well, I'm going to I'm going to load the game. Yep. I'm going to load the game. Can I can I load the game, please? Can I please load the game? Big save. <sighs> okay. So strategies. Points in intelligence are occult. Yeah, well, they unlock spell spell things. Uh, so, uh, strategy. Right, my strategy right now is gonna be either to... Yeah, they didn't appear at, at first, which is... Maybe it allows time, uh, gives me time to really position myself at Wilhelm healing uh, Catalina. That would be cool. That would be very good. Uh, that would be my favorite strategy, if, uh, if, um, if I'm honest. So let's go down. This blower appears to be locked. Okay, so what? Do I need to unlock it again? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, uh, okay. let's position ourselves a little bit better. Get Catalina, so there it is. I'm, it's paused. It's all right. So Catalina is going to attack one of these shroom bombers. Apparently, they are different creatures now. And uh, please attack them. And yep. What? They just died. Holy moly. Just like that, huh? Actually, what the hell is going on? Oh, right. <laughs> I was gonna... What the hell is that? Attacking Giladel. Fortunately, nothing was attacking Giladel. That's cool. That's cool. A shroom of fat. What the hell is that? Let's check it out. Uh, so what's that? A slab of fat from the walking variety of the family of arthropod creatures. Uh, the settlers refer to as shroomers, while most of the innards of these creatures are filled with various nutrients and are considered to be quite healthy, their diet is mostly exotic fungi and corpses make much of the eaten organs, like the liver, stomach and intestines, very difficult to digest without proper cooking. Fortunately, they are surrounded by a very usable coat of milky green fat, which is commonly used for a grease or oil to light torches. It is edible and much less irritable to digest than though it, if consumed, Plain, it is a fairly dull meal. It is commonly seasoned and spread in hard breads. And what, there's lots of lore to this game. I'm not gonna read it all, though. I wish I could. I mean, I'm not sure. The problem is, I, I don't know. I, I think I need to keep up uh, some sort of pace to to this uh, playthrough. So maybe, I don't know. If you guys want me to read everything, I will gladly read everything. Just give me a holler. Just say something. Uh, in the meantime, let's keep exploring because apparently there's just there's nothing more. That's just that. Oh, there's a uh, emeralds. Okay, emeralds. I I want those. I need those actually. I need those very dearly. But this over here, this down here, I don't know what it is. Let's go back up. Let's go back up and let's continue exploring Lumen Targ. This is maybe the headquarters of the police. Maybe I don't know. There's sort of a fence around. The, um, the village, which is cool, I don't mind. I mean, it helps me to navigate the city after all. There's another chest with torches and lots of interesting stuff actually. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? That is, oh, I, I like that very much. I like that very much and uh, uh, keep pressing escape. And there was something else too, but I'm not gonna check that right now. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, there's more. 
more uh, barrels. I'm always happy to find new barrels because they drop interesting loot sometimes. And emeralds are considered interesting loot in my book. There's some ox oxes over here. And uh, there's a settler. And we're reaching... Yeah, we came this way. Let's go the other way. Kind of like going south. The south is our next destination. We need to find those uh, guys. What's that? Let's go down. And... Yep. This is bad. So Catalina's in front, which is good. They are gonna attack that guy. Catalina needs to move. Though, these guys... I don't like that. Okay, so attack that. Please, everyone attack that. Except... Or Wilhelm, and actually Wilhelm, let's see how this goes. Okay, so I need to heal Catalina. And Giladel does 8 damage to Schroomer, that's cool. Catalina's gonna heal, hopefully. Well, it healed something. Oh man, this com this game is so hard. Okay, I need, I need potions, I need something, but I don't have anything to eat. Maybe this, does this heal? Yeah, maybe it does. I'm not sure that's gonna be a good idea, but... Well, it is the only... Oh, it, it does heal. No! Catalina! And I didn't quick save! No! No! I can't bear this. I cannot bear this. I, I mean, I'm not one to uh, save scum. Believe me, I'm not one to save scum, but uh, when games are difficult and RPGs sometimes are very difficult and uh, I need uh, I mean this game doesn't even have a, a d difficulty setting it's like you really need to be on your toes you need, really need to be to learn how to deal with things and uh, be attentive basically know the game as best you can and certainly we haven't been doing the very best of playthroughs because this is a blind let's play I remind you and uh, yep let's go down again so let's this time let's hope that we find Something more interesting. Nope, that's terrible. That's terrible. No, that's not actually that that terrible. Let's attack. Everyone attack that guy. And let's see what I can do. So, maybe with some spells on that, on those. Arcane attack. Arcane shield. Heat metal. Radiant stave. Fearful light. That's cool. That actually could be pretty cool if I could frighten this guy. Is that something that he can do? Wilhelm. What the hell is going on with you? Okay. That didn't do much, unfortunately, and no. No, 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 no. Catalina just died again. <sighs> okay, okay. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. <laughs> oh, man. If I were playing by myself, I wouldn't have a problem. I mean, this is kind of a bit embarrassing, if I'm honest. But such is, such is Serpent in the Stanglands. And uh, Catalina, unfortunately, is not very well equipped uh, yet. Maybe the game would be easier if I took just just took some avatars from the beginning. Not sure how, how how well it's balanced for that. Maybe I shouldn't go down there in the first place. I don't know. Maybe I should. I mean, why not? Right? I don't know. This game is not about. Okay, attack the shroomers. And let's see who they are going to attack. So Catalina probably. Yes, they are going to attack Catalina. Let's blood... Whatever the name of that thing. Blood cocoon Catalina. So she can heal pretty fast. This guy is flesh wounds. The problem is they are so tough. Is he going to keep healing her? No. He's not. Well, we've learned our lesson. We have learned our lesson. Well, I have learned my lesson. I'm not gonna attack those guys because they are hard. They are tough. Very tough, man. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna need to explore the... the to explore the... Um, the town first. Maybe, maybe get some experience. I mean, we're still level 1. It's like, what, can, what do you expect? What do you expect? Hmm. I mean, the problem is there too. Two guys of them, they that's a problem, that's a big deal. Then they deal a lot of damage, a lot. But what I'm gonna do is uh, just um, forget about that for right now. Let's get some emerald from over here, probably. Or whatever was in here, so what's that? Yeah, same things. And uh, let's give that to her. 
So maybe now she can handle herself a bit better, but I wouldn't I wouldn't bet on it. I certainly wouldn't bet on it. Uh, we need more companions too. We need more companions. Let's see some emeralds. Yeah, we have been here before. Uh, we've done this. There's an ox on the road. There's nothing over here. There's okay. There's nothing right now. Uh, I don't have. Oh, I don't have the. Oh, I do. Oh, I do. Okay. Uh, so did I? Yeah, I don't. How the hell did that happen? Did I speak with Jakub already? I haven't any other gossip for you. Yeah, I have spoken with him. Good. So let's see. Uh, Jakub's son. Greetings, Spicer. Good day, good day to you. And that's it. He doesn't have anything else to say. That's alright. So there's some bad over here. Can I take your stuff? I can take your stuff. Thank you. Where are you going, Wilhelm? Come back here. And there's another dungeon. Oh, man. Should I check it out? I should. I should check it out. And of course... Okay, this is a little bit of an easier... Should be a little bit of an easier fight. Even though that... Thing over there, that's like a mine, is it? Catalina, just do your thing. Seriously. Okay, so, I'm gonna heal her. I'm not sure how heal works during combat, actually. Thinking of it... Let's, sh let's check over here. So, Catalina does... I'm not sure how that does. Wilhelm heals Catalina for 4 hit points. Okay, so yeah. I think I understand how this works. So basically, if you were outside combat, this heals her instantly. Is that right? It is right. Good. Um, but if we are not uh, with in combat, it's it just heals her for 4. And that's not good. That's not good. Uh, I mean, we need some combat... Combat healing spells or maybe potions. Yep. Speaking of potions, we have plenty of, of stuff in here. Thank you, Lady Luck. Thank you so much. There are oh, no more items on the ground. Let's go back up. And uh, that's about that for right now. Let's check this house because I didn't check it. Let's quick save. Man, no, never forget about that. What's, what's the entrance? Maybe here? Nope. There's no way to get into that, I don't think. And uh, there's, there's a door. Let's go in, and uh, we have Elisabetta and Lisa. Oh, there, Spicer. What news of the road? Well, some monsters and bandic bandits uh, keeps a traveler on their toes. Yeah, ill news indeed. I'm sure I won't be allowed to live here anytime soon. Then, not with my purple fever, especially. Yeah, I've heard gossip of that. Um, what is that? Is that contagious? Oh, it's a disease that affects only amphibians. Uh, there's no pain or real suffering, just a constant sense of fatigue. It's not even contagious, but there's no known cure f but but time. So I'm moldering away here in Lumen Targ. Yep. Well, if I find a cure, I will remember you, I think. Greetings, traveler. What brings you to these parts? Business, of course. I'm always on the lookout for a good trade. Oh, I wish I could help you, but I'm no merchant. Lumen Targ is known for its exotic wares, so much as its crops. And its pearls, or of course... Um, but those sales are con are um, and it's pearls, of course. But those sales are controlled by the em by the temple. I hope you'll sell some spices to the innkeep. These dinners, his dinners have been particularly bland lately. Yeah, these guys don't. Can I steal your stuff? Nope. See you later. Excuse me. Yep, I'm not gonna mess with you guys. Um, so that's mom, um, mom and her child. It seems, maybe. I don't know. Um, maybe they're just companions. Rogue companions? Yeah. Who knows? Let's see what's down here. Are an arbiter? Oh, these, they, these are the guards then. I've heard that name before. I, I didn't really know what that meant, but yeah. Uh, I'm bound to the road. Anything I should be wary outside the gates? The eastern region around Lumen Targ is Orf's Bridge, or in Orf's Bridge, as its share of pack animals. These beasts usually stay clear of towns and travel traveled roads, so I'd advise, I'd advise keeping to them. If you're traveling at night, bring a torch. It's a dark night this time of year, especially. Yep, nothing else interesting to say. But this, what's the state of town? The festivities are over and most traveling merchants have left, fortunately. They brought their share of trouble. The constable has nailed seven lawbreakers' ears over the solstice. Oh, I took them, I took them down. Ears, what's that? Punishment for thieving spicers, as you should know. Be on your way now, and don't give us cause to make the count eight. Nope. 
I, I will give you my ears though. Do I need the ears? I mean, whatever. I'll just give them. Whatever. I'll just drop it on the ground when I uh, need more space in my inventory. I don't care. Uh, so there's nothing in here. Nope. Just a shack. It's a cool shack, but this game. Um, so you see how this is. Oh, this is. Uh, so basically, um, beaten dirt ground. I got a um, little fireplace over here. Very little. Very little in the way of furniture and the, this kind of uh, low bed or mattress or whatever that is. So this is this game is set the world of Vol of Vol or Vol. I don't remember. This world is basically inspired by by our Copper Age which is uh, more or less before uh, the early stages of the Roman and Greek Empire, uh, if you want to call it that. And um, yeah, so that's how they lived. Of course, th at, uh, at least in Europe, uh, in, in Western Europe, usually the houses were made of thatch, uh, thatch and uh, wood. In this case, the roofs are made of wood as well. And yep, just a child. Let's check out what's over here and uh, some barrels and okay no items on the ground what's that hmm. saddler let's check these houses there's lots of stuff in here actually look at that over there can I take that no no sorry didn't mean to incur in your anger by the arts of the flesh-eating god that lousy fox is back in my yard, and I know he's going to he's going to gobble up my livestock when my, when my back is turned. Well, I could get rid of him for you. Oh, if you can, I, I'd be most grateful. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. So, well, you want me to kill a fox? Is that it? Yep, there is the fox. Let's quick save. Let's send let's send um, Catalina up ahead because she is uh, tougher. No, okay, deal it out. Get the hell out of there. Do I need to talk with the fox? Is that something that I can do? I wish I could. Hmm, not sure. Let's use uh, wood wise on it. Nope. Fox is slinking about. Easy there, Fox. With your aptitude for communicating with woodland creatures. Yes, Wilhelm does its thing. Does this thing. You can sense that the fox means no harm. Convey the urgency of the situation to the fox. You know Darius will kill this creature. The fox repeats his good intentions and being in a weakened state Pleads for mercy. Oh, poor thing. Oh, man. It's a good thing Wilhelm was with me. Okay, so. Knowing the nature of foxes, you do not trust it to follow through his home. Interesting. <laughs> Will the fox... I mean, uh, I'm not sure. Let's trust the animal. You convey to the fox that uh, you will not kill him and will plead his case to Darius. Well, it disappeared. So that's a good, a good sign. Nope, that's not that's not what I wanted to do. Now let's uh, speak with Darius. Yes, I engage with your fox. How did you fare? I hope the little run didn't overpower you. Well, I can, he's got ah, what? Converse with him? Is are you really gonna say that, Gilidel? Hmm. I conversed with him, and he has agreed to leave your farm in peace. That's so cool, man. That's so cool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that I trust the word of a fox, but I suppose I didn't specify that I wanted you to kill it. I'm an honest man, and I'll hold up my end of the deal. Here's your reward. Thank you so much. This guy is a good man. This guy for emeralds. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm off. Ooh, that's a, such a cool interaction right there. I did not expect this game. I mean, it's a fantasy game, but the, speaking with foxes, really? That's so cool. I don't remember a game where I could do that. Seriously, this might like some Esopo's tales or whatever the, from those Greek guys that told fantasy tales with talking animals and all this sort of stuff that uh, at least I used to hear or read or, or uh, listen to when I was a kid, but that's so cool. That was so cool right there. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, you're a great guy. Thank you, thank you. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna break up the episode right here. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Serpent in the Stangla Staglands. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, feel free to leave a comment and check out the game. Actually, buy the game if you are, um, if you are, if you like this, because uh, it's really, oh, I mean, uh, at least from uh, what I can see and what the developers tell me, it's really open-ended, and. Uh, the, uh, your experience will differ greatly from mine. 
uh, and my pro my experience is probably gonna differ greatly each time I play through the game. But anyway, as I said, I'm Colonel RPG, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.